Hey, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio back in the studio. Today I wanted to share with you another one of my favorite pieces of gear that I have here in the studio. This is one that will be familiar to a lot of you if you've been watching the channel for a while. It's the LA Audio 4x4 stereo two-channel compressor with gates. This thing is really cool. One of my favorite pieces of gear for a reason. This is a FET compressor, FET, field effect transistor, whatever you want to call it. But you know, it's that's the way that the gain reduction is being applied is with a FET circuit. Like a Yuri 1176 is the most famous FET compressor style. So the LA Audio 4x4, obviously it's not an 1176, but it does get some of that quality. It's really cool. It has a gate and a compressor, and you can use the gate and the compressor independently of each other. There are separate patch points on the back of the 4x4 for the gate and the compressor, so you can actually patch something separate to the gates and the compressors, or you can daisy chain the gate into the compressor internally inside the unit. So it's really cool. So you've got the gate section and you've got a filter section on each channel and the filter allows you to set a high and a low pass point for the side chain detector circuit of the circuit circuit for the detector so the filters the low and high filter allow you to set a high pass or a low pass filter or really both so that you can fine tune the detector circuit of the compressor so it's basically like having built-in side chain EQ and to me that's a really cool feature it was useful when I used it as a master bus compressor in one of my videos and you know it's, it's something I use on drum buses most of the time when I'm using it I'm using that built-in filter the filter allows you to assign it to the gate or to the compressor I've hardly ever used it assigned to the gate but I think that could be useful you're wanting to trigger the gate to open at a more specific frequency you can assign that filter to the gate and then you can fine tune it to that. I like to do it with the compressor because you know that's what I'm doing a lot and I can do gating in the box or on the Soundcraft Sapphire since it has a built-in gate on every channel. So I don't really use the gates but I've used the compressors in this 4x4 an awful lot. I think they're fantastic. These do not have a threshold. The 4x4 doesn't have a threshold control but it has an input and an output level instead of a threshold. So it compresses harder the harder you drive the input and then you can compensate with the output. And otherwise it has attack release and ratio controls so it's you know a fairly simple to use compressor. It sounds great though. I mean it's really fantastic. So now I'm going to go over to the console and I'm going to play some examples through the compressor including drums and what it sounds like on the master bus. I used it in a previous video, so that's going to be a clip from that video. That video was the Soundtracks Topaz Mixing Southern Rock video. So if you want to see more or hear more about the LA Audio 4x4 on the Master Bus, I'll put a link to that older video of mine at the end of this video so you can check out the full clip of the LA Audio 4x4 on the Master Bus. So what I'm going to do first is play the kick and snare. This is from the same song. It's just a working title song, so I think I've called it Hang Around for right now. But it's the same instrumental track that I did the Mixing Southern Rock video on with the soundtracks Topaz. And again, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. But let's hear the drums from this track. This is just the kick and snare drum through the LA Audio 4x4 with the kick on the left side of the compressor channel A and the snare on B. The LA Audio 4x4 is a great kick snare compressor and so that's what that sounds like. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the rest of the drums so you can hear all the drums together. 
Now, none of the other drums are really being processed or anything. This is just to hear what the kick and snare with the LA Audio 4x4 compressor sound like with the rest of the drum kit. This does have a room mic as well, but again, nothing else but the kick and snare is being compressed. You can hear the room mic kind of rounding out the sound of the kit, especially bringing a little bit of depth or space to the kick drum. But mostly the excitement in that is the LA Audio 4x4 compressor on the kick and snare. And yeah, there's some hi-hat bleed on the snare mic. So when I had the just the kick and snare track soloed, you do hear the hi-hat. That's just bleed into the snare mic. When you link the LA Audio 4x4, any stereo compressor, when you link it, normally the left hand side or A or channel 1 controls will then control both of the compressors. I don't know if you can see me over here with the camera. Okay, so link this and we want a higher ratio and a faster release because I want to get some slam and tones out of the drum. So I'm going to leave the attack input and output the same. And I move my insert points. Okay, after plugging that in wrong once, now I have the LA Audio 4x4. Instead of on the kick and snare drum, I've actually repatched it to the master bus of the console. And I've only got drums pulled up right now here on these faders. Kick, snare, toms, overheads, and room mic. Since this LA Audio is on the master bus, all of these are going to go through the compressor now. So we can see what that sounds like. It really sounds good on the whole drum kit, but it's a bit too much for me. It gets a little bit, it gets a little bit unruly. And so, like I've done before in several videos, I've used it for parallel compression on the drum kit and using these second faders here, these channel faders on the console, sending those like an effect send, but to a pair of subgroups. In fact, I still have the switches pressed down for that from the last time I did that. So it works great for parallel compression on drums, and I think it works excellent on kick and snare. So it's a really good FET compressor for using on drums especially. The LA Audio 4x4 compressor also works very well on bass guitar. So now I have connected it to the bass guitar channel here, the in channel insert for bass guitar, and we're gonna hear what that sounds like. Let's adjust some of these settings. We don't need this linked anymore. And for bass, I probably want a higher ratio and probably a longer release, but I'm going to adjust that as we listen to the bass guitar through the LA Audio 4x4. Sounds pretty good on bass too. You can see I adjusted that attack a, little, a lot faster because that bass was kind of sounding a little rough around the edges. Speeding up the attack on the LA Audio 4x4 
really helped smooth the attack of the bass out and then I lengthened the release on the compressor to smooth it out some and it does work great it's probably not my first choice on a bass guitar it is one of my first choices on any kind of drums and it definitely would be useful on bass it would probably sound good on guitar too although I don't use it there that often but I have used this as a master bus compressor as well the video I did on the soundtracks Topaz mixing Southern, Southern Rock used the LA Audio 4x4 compressor on the master bus. Let me show you a clip of that now in this video just so if you want to go back and watch the whole video you can go back and watch the whole other video, hear the whole thing through the soundtracks Topaz with the LA Audio 4x4 on the master bus but I'll give you a clip right now. I'm gonna use the LA Audio 4x4 right here on the master bus of the soundtracks Topaz. So let's get on with this mix. Let me get my remote control. Magically I have the transports remote, so let's mix this song. <laughs> That's going to wrap it up for this video about one of my favorite pieces of gear, the LA Audio 4x4 compressor gate combination unit, four channels, and all that good stuff. Such a cool compressor. I love that thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, hope that you'll check out all the links in the video description for ways to help support this channel, as well as liking this video and subscribing to the Twin Creek Audio YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have an excellent and wonderful day, night, evening, weekend, weekday, hour, minute, second, nanosecond, whatever it is you're having. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.